Oklahoma. Okay. Uh, it's, it's a big game for for a lot of reasons. We're coming off of a, of a loss at the same time. We we talk about defending the home uh, court, and it's an opportunity to play against one of the top ranked country, uh, teams in the country, as well as one of the best players in in, in college basketball. And that's Blake Griffin. But uh, it won points to Blake Griffin. But I think they have a tremendous cast. Willie Warren. <coughs> Obviously, probably one of the top freshmen in the country. And then you have a guy like Austin Johnson, who I think is like the quiet assassin. I mean, he's, he's quietly had a very, very good year. I think he's been instrumental in what they're doing. Um, and you have Tony Crocker, who's capable of scoring some big numbers for him. Uh, so with that team, I mean, you, you're keying on Blake. They have some other options, especially with Warren coming in. And then, of course, I think the guy that uh, I know is a blue guy is, is a guy like Taylor Griffin. He don't get mentioned a whole lot, but uh, I think he did a pretty good job of kind of holding things together while Blake was out. And so I think even with the absence of Blake, I think it has helped their team become more of a team. And so that makes them even dangerous uh, going down the stretch. So we, we've got a, the ultimate challenge, you know, playing uh, uh, against Kansas in a, in a hostile environment. And of course, now we have a chance to uh, play against one of the top teams in the country, in Oklahoma. With, with the guys that are going to be more charged with defending Blake, is it important going against a player like that that they understand, hey, he, he's going to do some damage. I mean, he's probably going to get his. You're not going to hold a guy like that to four points. Well, I think you got to make him work. I think in anything you do, you got to make him work. And at the same time, we got to make him, uh, I think not only he, but I think his whole team, on, on, they got to work on the defensive side of the ball as well. Uh, so it's, uh, it's going to be an interesting game. Uh, I think they prefer to play. Uh, let him come down and throw it in there to him. But at the same time, they will push the basketball. So, uh, but he's important in what they do. I mean, he, and he's a very unselfish player. I mean, you look at his numbers, you think he's a selfish player, but he has a uh, great amount of assists uh, to go along with the rebound. And of course, we know rebound is all about blue collar. So, uh, he, he poses a. Uh, do we have somebody to match up with him one on one? I don't think so. So it's going to have to be a team effort. Mike, you guys played against him last year. I guess where is he different than he was a year ago? Oh, he's a, he's a uh, I think a little bit more savvy. I think a year older. I think he has a lot of game experience on his belt. Uh, he's just got a great feel for the game. I mean, he's he's a tremendous player instinctively. Uh, I think he's pretty skilled in terms of handling the basketball right around that paint. I mean, he's he's, he's unstoppable one on one. There's no question. And so you got to put not only one body, maybe two bodies on. He's, he's playing with so much confidence right now. Like he just he's added some more things to his game. I mean, he, he stepped away and put the ball on the floor. Uh, he's even driven the ball in open court, passing somebody and hit them receiving in old alley oop. So uh, it's, 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 he's a good player. Even though it was just one game, the way you lost yesterday, do you, th do you think the <coughs> team's confidence is, is shaking at all? Well, I, I think you know our guys have responded. You know, in each defeat we had this year, we, we responded in a positive way. I think we use it to learn, and I, and I think it'll be the same situation with the Kansas game. I mean, they they played well. They played well. We did play. We played poorly. I thought we did, especially defensively. And then when you on top of that, you shoot twenty percent. You just uh, I mean, you, you don't give yourself a chance, and, uh, and that and that's you know eighteen to one run. Uh, that's normally what we do to people. Have an 18 to 1 run, and we had that taking place, and uh, and just could not cut in the deficit. It was it was an uphill battle all game long. But you know, our game, our, our guys, you know, it's it's a one game approach, and you win, you enjoy the midnight, you lose. Hey, it hurts, and it probably hurt a little bit longer because of who it was. But uh, but you got another game. That's the thing about it. Is the game continues to come, and we've got two games and. In this conference season, and, uh, and each one of them is very, very important. There's a lot out there, and so it's very, very important for our guys to get back in the gym and get prepared for uh, an Oklahoma team. We got some seniors, uh, four seniors, and uh, of course it'll be their last game here uh, in Missoula Arena. So uh, you want a special night to take place, and, uh, but it's an ultimate challenge when you're playing against one of the top teams in the country. Mr. D, you mentioned that uh, that shooting percentage. Were your guys doing some things just overall on offense, especially in that first half you were concerned with, or was it just you know, we're doing what we're supposed to and the shots just aren't falling? Well, we missed some shots, I think, early on. We missed some shots that would normally, you know, some layups. and Well, you get the game going back and forth. Uh, obviously, that took place, and then I thought we got kind of tentative. And, you know, it's with our team, you know, we can't just predicate our game on offense. 
But needless to say, not scoring, you didn't have, you weren't able to get into your defense. And I thought Kansas did a good job of attacking us. I thought transition defense uh, was probably something we did real, real poor. And, uh, and they did well. They attacked us, and uh, they made us pay for it.